Civil War in 1865 was both an ending and a beginning for our country. It marked the end of slavery and the beginning of a country that pursued freedom for its people. After all, this country was founded on ideals of freedom. Memorial Day began one year later, in 1866, a day to remember those who died fighting in the Civil War. Memorial Day has become a day for us to remember any man or woman who has died while serving in wartime. A day to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for their country. So, what are you going to do this weekend? It's Memorial Day on Monday and that means... We get a day off from school! <laughs> well, hello, Junkins. Did I hear you talk about Memorial Day? We were just trying to figure out what we were doing with our day off. A day off, huh? Do you know why we celebrate Memorial Day? I'm not sure, but I think it has to do with war. And we always get a day off from school. But did you know that the first Memorial Day took place at the Civil War in 1868? Really? No, I didn't know that. To truly understand this holiday, you have to start at the beginning. Look over there. Do you see that young soldier? Where? I don't see anything. There, over there. Oh yeah, I see him. You two go on over there and I'll tell you. Sir, excuse us, sir. Yes? What are you watching? Well, this year is the year 1866. Only one year at the end of the Civil War. I came to this cemetery I remember one of my friends who was killed in the war. And he found us here. And I was amazed and surprised by their kindness. What kindness? He came to take care of the grave of soldiers from the South who were killed. And they were also taking care of my friend's grave, and he was from the North. His friend's grave was neglected and he tended. North or South, all these boys died for what they did. And they all deserve to be remembered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to help you spine them and take care of these graves.
and they patrol 24 hours a day to make sure the bike stays put. They're still doing this every Memorial Day, even now. That's a lot of flags. Absolutely, over 260,000 flags in all. Whoa, but everyone's been calling it Decoration Day. When did it become Memorial Day? Well, end of the war, it took a great while before the United States lived in the United States. Even though people have been celebrating Decoration Day for more than 100 years, it wasn't until 1971 that Congress declared a national holiday officially calling it Memorial Day. Yes, it really is. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm 
legendary verse. I can help you if you keep going over there for another few blocks. Turn right.